Hi again everyone, Chris Tisdell here again. In this presentation, I'm going to continue my series of videos that give a basic and gentle introduction to vectors. And in particular, in this presentation, I'm going to do an example. Now that example involves the calculation of some basic vectors from one point to another, a check to see whether those vectors are parallel or not, and also a test to see if three points are collinear or not, if they lie on the same line or not. So let me get started and share my screen with you. Okay, so here is the example I'm going to discuss. We've got four points, A, B, C and D, all lying in three-dimensional space. And we're asked to do the following, calculate the vector from A to B and the vector from C to D. Are the two vectors parallel? Why, why not? And are the points A, B, and C collinear? And why slash why not? Now, in previous videos, we've discussed all of these ideas. And so this um, example kind of brings all those ideas together. Okay, so first of all, we're going to calculate these two vectors. Now, we know by the triangle rule of addition that we can write these vectors in terms of um, the uh, position vectors of the points involved. Okay, so AB is just the difference of the position vector of the point B minus the position vector of the point A, and that's what these lowercase uh, letters mean. If you don't like that notation, you can just use the old, you know, vector from the origin uh, O to B minus the vector O A and of course these are just written, uh, you take these coordinates and you write them as column vectors. And we know the basic addition and subtraction between two uh, vectors involves a component-wise uh, operation. So, you know, 6 minus 2 gives you the first component, 7 minus negative 3 gives you the second component, and the third is negative 2 minus 5. Okay, so that's the vector AB. Let's work out the vector CD, the vector from the point C to the point D. Again, depending on what notation you use, you would come up with something like, oops, sorry, D minus C. Let me fix that up. Okay, so that's a C, that's a C. So that will be, okay, let's write that as a column vector. And let's write that as a column vector. And you do the component-wise operations just like we did up here. So negative 15 minus negative 7 is negative 8. Negative 19 minus 1, negative 20. And 16 minus 4 gives 12. Okay, now how do we know whether these two vectors are parallel or not? Well, let me remind you of the condition for two parallel vectors. Two parallel vectors U and V. Uh, sorry, two vectors, u and v, are parallel if there is a number such that basically one uh, vector is a scalar multiple of the other one. So let's compare this and this and see if there's some, you know, if I can multiply this by a scalar to get that or vice versa. Okay, so you do that by comparing the components. Now, let's compare 4 with negative 8. Well, I can multiply 4 by negative 2 to get that. And I can multiply 10 by negative 2 to get that. What about the third component? Well, it doesn't work. If that was a 14 there, then the two vectors would be parallel. Okay? So we've now moved on to the second part. Since there is no number. Lambda such that, uh, let's say, AB equals lambda 
CD, we conclude that the vector AB and the vector CD are not parallel. All right, let's move on to the last part of this example. Are the points A, B and C collinear? And why slash why not? Okay, well, let me just refresh your memory on that as well. This is another thing related to, another idea related to parallel vectors. Three points A, B and C will be collinear, well, on the same line, if the vector A, B is parallel to A, C, or if the vector A, B is parallel to B, C. Okay, so let's say start with two points, A and B. I can always calculate the vector between those two points. And you can also associate a line. with that um, uh, vector, okay? Now, let's look at a point C. I can, I can get to point C if I can stretch the vector AB up to get up to the point C. Now, if C doesn't lie on the, on the line, let's say it, li it lies there, I can never, no matter how I stretch or compress or flip this vector AB, I can never leave this, uh, never get to this point, okay? Going through these, these two points as well, okay? So that's a little bit of intuition on, on why, why this works and why it's a, it's a good test. The important thing is this vector and this vector share the point A and they're parallel. If that's true, then A, B, and C collinear. Co this vector and this vector share the point B, and uh, if this vector and this vector are parallel, then A, B, and C are collinear. So you can use whichever one you want. All right? Okay, so uh, we know from part one, we've already calculated A, B. What I'm going to do is calculate uh, the vector B, C. Okay, so and then I'm going to compare them. A, B equals um, 4, 10, negative 7, and also we have the following. Let's, let's compute the vector uh, B, C. I guess that's just the position vector of C minus the position vector of B. Okay, so let's work this out. OC is just this written as a column. OB is just uh, this written as a column vector. So if I work in a component-wise fashion, I'll get the following vector. Okay, so now the question is, is that, are these two vectors parallel? Are they a multiple of each other? Well, it's pretty clear that, th that this isn't a multiple of this. Okay, so there is no number lambda such that, say, uh, vector AB equals lambda times BC. We conclude that AB is not parallel to vector BC, and so A, B, and C are not 
collinear. Okay. All right, so let me just um, make my answers a little clearer. And there you have it. Okay, so that was an example designed to tie a lot of the previous uh, videos together on vectors between two points or from one point to another point, parallel vectors, and also collinear points. Now, in other videos, I'll be discussing more about vectors, more ideas, more examples. Please join me for the next presentation.